told you I didn't have to let her in. We've just had a disaster. I was fully set up and the cat jumped up, pulled the tablecloth and pulled everything down. Not to mention this over here. Broke everything. You bitch penny. So we're just going to have to clean up. We'll be back with you shortly. G'day, welcome back to Retro 70s Kid. I've had a fascination and an interest in Egyptian history and everything ever since I was a kid. And I had an amazing Egyptian collection starting in the 80s and going through to the 2000s, uh, which I have sold everything pretty much. I even had Egyptian Christmas decorations, they were beautiful. And um, until I came across these girls, the Monster High. Don't you fall, bitch. The Monster Highs, <laughs> sorry. Cleo and Nefera Denial. Um, I saw one of these girls, I think it was this one, this is my first one. I saw her in a um, charity shop and I didn't know, I hadn't seen Monster High and I thought, what the hell is this beautiful thing? So I bought her and the other seven Monster Highs they had and that started me off and I've since sold my Monster Highs. I did show them in one of my Halloween shows a couple of years ago. Um, but I couldn't part with these because I just love the outfits, I love the colours, the amazing turquoise, the emerald green, the lapis lazuri, all Egyptian colours, the gold, just amazing. Now I don't really know who's who, I think Cleo is the sweeter looking one and I think Nefera, I think she's Nefera, she's got more of a not a sweet look on her face, if you know what I mean. So I've got a mixture here, but they're just beautiful. So I think there's only about 14 or something here. And there's a few little knickknacks that I've just added, which are Egyptian, which I've just kept for some reason. I don't know why. And this beautiful thing, I got this off my parents um, a while ago, a couple of years ago, for birthday or Christmas, and I, I didn't want to part with that because it's very special. And I thought it would match beautifully with all this. Oh, and also look at this amazing throne. This queen of the queendom sitting on this amazing throne. She suits it perfectly. It's, I don't know what it is. It's hard. It's not metal. And even the back. But yeah, there's beautiful stuff in there. And hieroglyphics. I got that from a car boot. And also this place set this beautiful vanity which I just love the detail is amazing and all the accessories if you look at these tiny little brushes tiny jewelry the cases some of these bits are from these girls I came with these girls but most of the pieces are there and in the drawer the stuff in the drawer and that's the lovely chair and even the detail down to the legs there are cats is it supposed to be yeah. And I put her there because I like the contrasting colours. That's not the girl that came with this set. But there are some planar ones. All these ones have articulation. Look at the shoes on this. I love it. The handbag. She is ready to slay. I, I picked up some of these brand new. I got some of them from Car Boots. But actually I got, probably got half brand new when they were still out. And over this side here, I think this is Boo York. Cleo from Boo, Boo York, I think. I'm not gonna start with all that because I really can't remember. I love the hair, the 60s hair. All beautiful accessories. And that one or two, I love that gold cat suit. And the short hair, I really prefer the short hair on these. The little bobs are very Cleopatra, I find. Very Elizabeth Taylor. And there's some of the sleepover girls. 
as you'll probably see the aftermath of, we were just about ready to press record and the cat jumped up on the table, pulled the tablecloth down, well, pulled towards her and she fell off and pulled everything off. This fell down, smashed my glass tray. It was a disaster, so <laughs> we've had to fix it all back up. I kind of wasn't in the mood to film after that, but I'm fine now. <laughs> I have a couple of jokes, actually, some Egyptian jokes, only two of them. There was a site that had like over 100 Egyptian jokes and only two of them made me giggle. Okay, 109 plus best Egyptian jokes, Google. What chocolate do the Egyptians eat? I'll give you a sec. Think about it. Ferro Rocher. <laughs> And, what's the difference between an ancient Egyptian prince and a Kardashian? Do I have a little thing? No? The Egyptian knew from the start that their daddy would become a mummy. <laughs> and a state, what's she going for now? A state, a state mayor or something, California? Anyway, we won't go into that. So yeah, so Egyptian, this lovely little collection, the only ones I've let kept from Monster High, um, the beautiful Cleo and the Pharaoh. What more can I say? Did you get all the shoes, all the cool shoes on all these? So yeah, just a little quick episode tonight. Just wanted to show these off. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I need your advice. I'd like you to comment and let me know. Um, I'm thinking of, well, we're thinking of doing another playlist of home decor ideas. Um, as you may have seen, um, some of you have been binge watched all my shows. Thank you for that. And uh, I've done Christmas and uh, Easter and some other things decorating. And um, I'm actually uh, did start interior design and I'm a qualified visual merchandiser. So I'm just, I've had a lot of comments on how people like the way I do things. And when I do the dollhouse episodes, people really like how I put the furniture and, and all the bits and pieces in there. So if you think you might like to see that sort of a thing, um, let me know. So thank you very much, have a think about it. Thank you and good night. What is, sorry, I've gone off my, oh, fuck, I've just lost it, sorry. That's okay. That's it. Egyptian jokes. What is the difference between an ancient Egyptian prince and a Kardashian? No? The Egyptians, the Egyptians, the Egyptians knew from the beginning that their daddy would become a mummy. <laughs> <laughs>